For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. So I'm giving you guys a bit of a review on a brand new product from Camper. So this here is the Camper Dometic Rally Air All Season 330 DA. So essentially it's a, a drive away 330, but with the main difference being that it's in the all season fabric. So going forward to 2020, Camper uh, do a numerous range of drive away awnings. The joys of this particular one is the fact that it feels like a fixed awning but has the versatility of a driveway model so you can actually leave it freestanding, nip off to the shops, get some milk or whatever, fill you, your van back up, come back and reattach it leaving all the equipment safely on the campsite. So the main difference is it's been a massive hit certainly with a 330 size over the last sort of three years and um, so this is a new addition to the range. I think it's probably more aimed at someone who wants it a little bit more durable, you'll use it for longer spells, um, and especially with the all season fabric, which has very, very much been tried and tested in their whole um, caravan awning collection. I think it makes a, a really good addition to the driveway range. One thing I will say is certainly, because of the driveway fabric, it's a little bit heavier, so, but unsurprisingly, it's only around about sort of the minimum weight for the models, about only four kilograms heavier than the same model in the pro fabric. So I think that's quite a nice compromise, really. If you want something that's a bit more durable, um, something that if you're going away to hot countries, certainly mainland Europe, for example, uh, it's something that's going to wear and tear a bit better against the harsh UV sunlight over there. And also, you know, just the general heat. Having a fabric that's a little bit more breathable than the polyester, I think it makes a big difference. The all season fabric, like I said, has been in the range now for numerous years, and it's one of those things that um, it's been tried sort of in the heats of Australia and sort of the, the sort of part of the Alps where it's you know nice and snow. So it's used to hot and cold cold climates, so that's where it's been really tried, you know, really well received. Generally, it's a more rugged fabric. You get the storm straps included with the all season model as well, which saves you a little bit of money. But I think you'd agree it looks really quite smart, and I think also the coloration of the all season fabric works really well um, in this sort of style, especially when you have it next to a van looking incredibly, incredibly smart. The joys of the uh, sort of driveway all season is the fact that it's a single point inflation. So one single point in the middle pumps up the whole awning itself, but then you've got several deflation valves located everywhere around it. Now, as you can see from our own at all's pitching and packing videos, I've pitched this model on my own in about sort of 13, 14 minutes, which for something this sort of size on your own, I think is quite, you know, it's impressive and yet yeah, again as you can see it isn't, wasn't particularly much of a faff as the joys of I think. You can also if you want to use like an extra gale pump to pump it up literally just peg the main four corners of the awning down put the gale pump in set it to PSI let it do its thing or cut out when it gets to it so you can sit back relax and watch the awning go up. You can obviously see around the awning itself you've got loads of crystal clear PVC windows to give you plenty of light in the inside um, and you probably might be able just to see some curtains as well but we'll look on into that as we go inside in just a moment. You've got the easy pegging system where you've got a, a, it's almost like a storm strap at the base and on top which pulls the base out and guides it and tension it at the same time. Yet again just that extra bit of reciprocity that it's going to be you know when the elements come it's going to handle it. You've got the main part here and then also the connection piece at the back. Now in terms of connection, you can, like our uh, pitching video, just throw the straps over the top uh, and just leave it sort of, you know, guide down the other side of the motorhome. Alternatively, what you can do, of course, is put it into a wind-out awning with just using a fixing kit. You would need about a four meter fixing kit to do that, but you can always check in the link below of all the extras you can buy for this particular model on our website. One thing as well is worth pointing out is you've actually got a door attachment in the tunnel section, which means that you can actually enter your van without having to go through the awning every single time. So it's a quick way through, and yet again, because you want that to be probably a nice sealed, enclosed area that without the elements getting in, that way there, having that sort of as a, should we say, a wet dry area, gives you a good amount of storage, and also just almost like a little corridor into the van that's a bit more shelter proof uh, than you will find. So uh, generally the model will fit uh, anywhere from 220 to 3 meters, so you've got quite a size range there. Like anything, I would say probably it tends to fit the better, the higher end of the bracket you are, the better it kind of fits. Um, but if you are any questions about fitting or whether this will fit your vehicle, do feel free to email us or contact us on our website. So uh, we can always help out by sending photos of your motorhomes to us and we can actually recreate a sort of a little measurement chart that you need just to make sure that everything's going to be okay because it's a, certainly an investment and you want to make sure you get it right first and foremost. 
But let's head inside now and talk through a few more features that this brand new All Season has to offer. So now we're in the All Season drive where you can kind of get a bit more of a grasp of certainly the amount of size you've got in here as well. I think the 330, like I said, is, is the best model in the range, so no wonder they've made an All Season version of it. It's just a great width on the actual motorhome itself as well as actually quite a nice generous depth and you can kind of see that feeling that it's not like your typical, dri typical driveway awning it's not small compact and it's got a small little tunnel to the van it's purpose-built design for sort of bigger motorhomes uh, or sort of like tall end transits just because that extra height you get that all around here and it, it feels more like a living area rather than just kind of a bolt-on room if that makes sense um, so as you can see you've got 330 is the width uh, the depth of the main body is about 2.5 and then it's about an 80 centimetre uh, sort of attachment at the back. You've got um, obviously two big panels at the front which we saw from the outside. Those can actually just zip uh, to one side to allow those to be entrances uh, is and, as and when you want to. And like I said, we're talking about curtains. As you can see, you've got a nice sort of curtain point here, but there's also a little retaining clip and it just slides on the track to just give you really nice coverage and sits on there. On the front where there's a slight slope, what you do have is a little retaining strap just to make sure that curtain fits nice and tightly to that front panel. And then when you want to, you just pop the back there and then again, little button clip just keeps it all at bay. The two side panels that we've got in, in each end can be completely removed if you wanted to. So that helps reduce the weight down, especially if you're looking at, you know, getting lugging it in and out of the motorhome. It does make a di difference. Taking things like the peg, the pumps and uh, the side panels out does help to reduce the weight a little bit. Generally what you've also got as well is because the side panels can remove, you can interchange them. What that will achieve is actually moving the door um, from the back, closest to the back side, to the front. So by interchanging those doors round, that's what repositions the door. Both panels have a really nice window as well. The panel on this side over here has a mesh on the, on the outside as well, so you can get a good circulation of air. That's one thing that's probably really uh, been more of a sticking point with awnings today is they're making them very waterproof, but they lack a little bit of breathability. So you've got to kind of make use of the sort of vents that are supplied to help keep a good circulation of air to sort of, sort of fight condensation really, because it's a really big of an issue at the moment. Um, just because, you know, there's so much sort of air in here. And it's so kind of almost like not airtight, but you can get a very sort of warm environment inside of here. So you have a lot of issues with sort of condensation a little bit more. What you've also got built into the model is a secondary zip into the front two panels. This will allow you to put a additional um, mesh panel set in place. So it means that you can sort of have the window like a little veranda, half down like so. And you've got a good airflow coming through there, but the mesh panels, especially even in the UK with midges, but if you're going across the sort of hotter countries in night when you've got the lights on, for example, that will make quite the difference. The lights are really quite nice, the Sabre lights as you can see they allow a lot of light into the actual awning itself without taking up any extra space. They can be positioned in three positions in the driveway, so you've got it in the uh, front beam here, top beam or as we've got it at the moment at the very very top. That's quite nice because it just shines light throughout the awning, alternatively you can do it on the front as need be. It's a single point inflation like I said, so one point pumps the whole awning up and you've got little taps on the inside of here to help distribute the air to all of the chambers but you can the taps can turn off like so so you can isolate each beam individually yet again means that if god forbid you had an issue it's just segregated to that one position point all you would then do is quite simply just unzip the outer casing that sits in the tent you've got a sleeve and a tube on the inside so just in case you're patching repairing that or just replacing it completely and it's only like course like a like garden hose kind of fittings, so very simple to do and don't have to worry about um, you know, how, how complicated the mechanism just to replace the bladder, it's quite easy, but we've always got little videos for that anyway. Because the side panels can remove, you can actually buy an annexes to go on either side if you wanted to, so if you wanted to sleep with extra few guests or something in without having them in the motorhome, that's a really good option, and because it, it's one X will go either side, and we do an all season uh, fabric one to match it to look all nice and smart. Technically, if you wanted to, you can actually use the pro version as well, um, it just won't match the fabric, but the zip limbs are the same. So if you like the idea of having a conservatory on this model, um, that is also an option as well. One thing also makes this unique is the fact that it 
it free stands so you can drive away and have the versatility on the campsite. Now you've got these two big barn doors right at the back here uh, and what it allows you to do is, it doesn't matter where the door is situated on your motorhome, you can either have it open at the front or at the back. Alternatively, if you had it at both, it just kind of really opens up as you walk out of the uh, caravan door, you've got a really nice sort of open set. It feels like a living room, hence the feeling of it being like a fixed awning, but possibly with the versatility of the motorhome. So, that can really nicely open up. There's little toggle points back there to sort of roll it away as and when you want to. Just take that now, so I'll leave it like that for the time being. And then you can sort of see a bit more about the back tunnel back here. So, the tunneling section, like I said, on the outside, you've got a separate door located just in here, and you've got one on both sides. So it means you can enter whichever way you want from the front or the back of the motorhome itself. Yeah, again, on the straps, I'll get the camera in a second, we'll have a little look through on this side. There's adjustment straps in the roof section, just to help you get that material looking nice and taut uh, and stop sort of water pooling on the roof, really. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you what i do. Let's grab, so, shut that back up. And we'll a little look around. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Right, so, so as you can see, yeah, it's a quite nice step, and even with a table and chairs, because you've got quite a right, sort of upright front, you've got plenty of space to move in and out, and to be fair, there's a bit of a gap at the front there, you can actually probably bring that a little bit closer, just to create yourself even more room there, but nice sort of structure, there's the lights up in the top, so actually quite a, and like I said, it illuminates the um, main body awning really nicely. Um, then moving on to the attachment area at the back here, you can see in the roof set, uh, there's your additional straps. So all again, grey, so it matches all nice the awning. One across the right of the roof, uh, just to give you extra torsion there. And then you've got like a V-shaped one running up and down, just to allow that tunnel point to pull up. Generally, when you're on the lower end of the bracket, you will have a bit more slackage there. Um, that's where you would use this to get yourself a bit more tension. That really helps to keep the door um, sort of accessible. Generally, this is only really like a, a shelterproof area. It's not watertight. Um, it's sort of fairly weather, weather resistant. You know, it's not you're relying on the pegging point beneath the ground um, to the top of the motorhome and to sort of just shield the wind and rain from coming in. So, um, and then you've got your tyres running on top. So these are for when you you leave it freestanding, you will roll the tunnel section back. You've got tyres on top just to hold that material back, stop it flapping away. Uh, and then you've got some extra guys located on the outside here that you just toggle back quite happily. But as you can see, as you come back there, it's a really quite smart looking model. And I think it's a really good sort of addition to the to the SAMP site, really. And you can, with the round the window. Also quite like the black panel at the bottom. I think that, that really helps to make it look very crisp. But essentially, like I said, it could be a really big hit uh, for the 2020 going forward. Um, and I think it's a really great addition to the size and certainly a calling for those who want something that's probably a bit more durable. There's something you can still use in the UK if you wanted to. It's just the fact that you probably got a little bit more lifespan out of it. So it's not maybe, you might not even use it as an all season purpose, i.e. putting up from I don't know, January through to October. But if you want something that you don't mind a little bit more weight for and you want something that's gonna last you a bit longer and have a bit more breathability, I think it's quite a nice little upgrade actually. Um, it's one we'll certainly have in some format. I'll show them. We'll probably have the the normal Air Pro version of this, um, but and we all have all season fabric. So when we pop in to see us, uh, we're Gloucestershire. We've got about seventy odd products up on display. So in the big accessory area. So it's worth popping in by. But let us know what you think of the product. Check our link below to our website for more information about this particular item. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our at Oz outdoors video review on the Rally Motor. 330 DA all season.